Hey guys, it's Thomas the Silly Jr. here, aka Mustache Charm, here to view Preacher Episode <coughs> 2. So, we get this flashback to 1881 while also getting this uh, preacher doing his, I guess, re baptism uh, methods. And he sees that Tulip has. Uh, is there to try to, to continue to convince him to take this job and he says no. Uh, the Irish vampire known as Cassidy tells his backstory uh, which includes running away from these other vampires uh, and him being just simply a castaway. Uh, I don't know what the flashback has to, like I don't know how that connects to what's going on right now. It didn't really seem to be much of a bridge of what that has to do with what's going on now, but um uh, maybe there will be more flashbacks to help uh build whatever that flashback was supposed to be. Um anyways uh Tulip throughout the episode is continuing to ask him uh, upping up the ante, which is a really nice uh, pa uh, parallel because she was playing poker at one part and pretty much beating everyone. Um, and then, she, you know, she kept hearing no and then she kept doubling up, I guess. Uh, so there's a good parallel there. It's an interesting parallel to say the very least. Um, and then we have these two, I guess they're vampires as well, the ones that were coming in to see, to sort of get something from whatever was inside the preacher, I guess. Um, the thing that allows him to tell anyone to do anything, the little, the literal interpretation that is. Uh, so they go in and they see that, uh, well they only, they don't see it, but uh, Cassidy had pulled out some sort of alcohol it's like super strong and then he get uh the preacher gets knocked out and then the two vampire guys come in and Cassidy pretty much uh beats them down one of them has like a chainsaw so yeah you know he's doing his thing um and like feeding off of the guys when he gets hurt and then uh I get, like, he, like, buries them, but I think they come back. I'm not sure if, like, there's more of them that just happen to look like that. I don't know what's going on, but, um, yeah, they end up do coming back, so I don't know exactly what Cassidy buried. Uh, maybe they climbed out or something. I don't really know what's going on there. Uh, Preacher visits this family one of the girls like asleep or I guess dead or in a coma uh, more presumably uh, and the lady taking care of him, her is saying to not to even bother and stuff of that nature uh, so preacher goes to his church and he uh, hears some dogs and then he calls out to them to be quiet and then uh, they do, and I think that's when he realizes that he actually does have that power. So he had heard one of the one of his uh, one of the people in the church talk about how oh, he has this problem where he's thinking about this girl. I don't know if he's related to her or not. Um, and Peter's like, you can't, you know, obviously you can't do that, but. Uh, after he notices that he can get anyone to do what he wants when he says it like that um, he gets him in the Baptist water in the home and then uh, at his at the guy's home and then puts him in and then the guy forgets who the girl was and then preacher pretty much leaves um, and then you have Tulip once again kidnapping Preacher and then once again upping up the ante 
And we see Preacher talking to uh, the guy with the mouth that got shotgun. Like he like tried to kill himself. Um, I still don't know his name, or I don't remember it. But um, I'm learning. I'm trying to learn as quick as possible. But um, I got three down, so I'm doing a lot better than my other season reviews, uh, like Ruby. Uh, but anyways, that's for another time. Um, and yeah, those guys wake up, or they're just somewhere else. Uh, we have Tulip driving away, feeling confident that Preacher will eventually take the job. We have Peacher coming back to that girl's house and saying, wake up, or open your eyes, that's what he literally says, so I'm guessing in the next episode from what we could see from the preview, she's going to literally open her eyes and we're going to see the results of that. Uh, we're going to see the results of these two guys that seem to want to come back. Uh, we know that Cassidy and... The three, the three characters that we seem to be following the most, Tulip, Cassidy, and Preacher, all have this capability of being able to fight when it comes down to it. Um, so, it's an interesting dynamic, and I think this episode really helped build up what the powers, power set is, but it also, at the same time, has brought up more questions at the same time. Like, who are these vampire guys, and why did they come back? And, uh, we did learn a bit about Preacher. So, I, I mean, uh, Cassidy. So, I think it'd be interesting to see a bit more of the backstory of Tulip. And they could probably will get away with this, doing the same thing, where she just says her backstory really really quick something tells me that when she was at the pool t uh, the bedding table when she was saying that uh, her little story or whatever it was that that was probably actually a real story even though she was kidding I, I don't know if she was or not uh, it's it was sort of hard to tell um, so yeah it's an interesting episode uh, get more getting more backstory and getting more questions so yeah preacher still going to continue to review the entire season as promised on mondays um and with that being said i think that's about everything that i can remember from this episode so i'm thomas the Jr. aka mustache tom and i'll see you guys next time